I think, so there's a, a guy, a, a very warm, loving man named Rick Montagnari, who uh, has been doing work, um, been throwing his life into working with indigenous communities on the outskirts of Panama City. And so I was able to volunteer with, with Rick and I went out every Saturday and worked, uh, basically dug holes and put pipes together um, and to bring water to these indigenous communities that were basically squatter settlements. And I think what, what touched my heart was not, A, was the, the community's response to the work that Rick was doing. There, there was such a, um, a sense of gratitude, but also Rick himself, like his, his untiring and 100% commitment to this community. Um, he threw so much money of his own personal money and, and so much of his time into getting this project going. Um, and he continues still, like it's still part of a, a passion project for him. Even when the funds dried up and he lost his, his major support uh, networks, he still continued to find ways to get these communities access to basic things like water and sanitation. And that was something to me that was, it was wonderful to watch him and, and, and to be able to work alongside him at the same time. And he's just infectious. Like, yeah, I met him at a Navy League dinner and he sat next to me and, and chewed my ear off about this project. Uh, and so I said, finally, I'll come out next Saturday and I'll volunteer. And then he just, it, it, it was contagious. Like he just instilled in me the idea that this was a project worth doing. And then I then spread the word to as many people as I could as well. 